Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We magnify your name this morning, Lord. We bless you. We exalt you. Lord, we recognize you as our King of kings and our Lord of lords. We recognize you as a reason we are alive today. And we just give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Good morning, saints of God, and thank you so much for joining us for Command Your Morning here on the Tobago Inspirational Network. This is where we use the authority that Jesus Christ has given us, and we speak into our day. We command our morning. We tell our morning what we want to see. Amen. We dictate our day. Those in the demonic realm uh, and the agents of darkness, they get up and they speak to the sun and the moon and whatever so that they can dictate your day. We are not speaking uh, to, no, to, to no devil. We are speaking based on the authority Jesus Christ has given us. Everything we do, we connect with God our Father, our God who is in heaven, seated on the throne, who is more powerful than any agent of darkness, who is more powerful than any uh, whatever the, the enemy can dig up or bury or whatever they will do, whatever doll they have, whatever they feed with milk or whatever they do. Our God in heaven is far superior there is none who can test him none who can compete who can compare none can stand before him that's almighty god that we serve and we just have to come to that point that we know that listen we we serve a mighty god um yes those in on the other side they will try they will do things that will uh, attempt to ruffle you sometimes and and, and frustrate you and and cause you to de be depressed but i said i mean i was telling somebody uh, two days ago David just found a way to be encouraged. The Bible tells us that he encouraged himself in the Lord. And, and we just have to find a way to just know that we operate by the strength of Almighty God, by the awesome power of Almighty God. And we ought not to be running around this world as wimps. Amen. We know the authority that we have. We just have to come to that point and say, you know what, we're going to begin to use it. Amen. So as we rise up this morning, first of all, we thank God for life. We say, God, we thank you for life. We thank you for that joy of sleeping and waking. Hallelujah. That we were able to go to bed last night. And we got up this morning, everything is in fine. It's fine. Our faculties are intact. And we just give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, Almighty God. We bless your name. We exalt you, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, just spend a minute and just thank God. Thank you. God, I thank you. Thank you. I'm alive. It is well. I mean, some of you, you have a little pain here and there. There may be something that might still bothering you. Hallelujah. Some sickness that still wants to hang on to you. Say, God, I thank you. In spite of and despite of, I'm alive. It is well with me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy has tried so many things. Hallelujah. But God, I am still standing. Hallelujah. If it was up to the enemy, I would have been six feet under right now. But I'm still standing. If it was up to the enemy, I would have been some uh, psychiatric patient because I would have been off. Hallelujah. But I'm still standing. Hallelujah. If it was up to the enemy, I would have been divorced. Hallelujah. I would have been broken, but I'm still standing. And I give you praise. Oh God, I give you thanks. I just magnify your holy name. I just exalt you, my Lord. I just exalt you, my King. Ancient of days, I just Bless your holy name. Oh, there is none like you, Jehovah, who is like unto thee, my Lord, my King, my Savior. <laughs> I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Father. I magnify your holy name. There is none like you, Jesus. Ancient of days, as old as you are, you remain dependable. You remain, oh God, committed, oh God, to our lives, Jehovah. Oh, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Oh, would you just open up your mouth this morning and just magnify God. Just let those demons hear you praising God this morning. Let those demons begin to scamper for safety. Hallelujah. As the fire of God begins to burn wherever you are, I declare, wherever you are, is holy ground. 
Hallelujah. Don't ever get the impression that the only time you could really uh, release the fire of God is when you're in church or, or when you're in a specific location or when you're in Israel or anything like that. Where you are is holy ground. I declare that you are standing on holy ground, free of every demonic oppression, free of every interference of the kingdom of darkness. I decree and I declare that you are free to worship. It doesn't matter what happened last night. We, we, we have to get past that stage. Hallelujah. Our God is, is a forgiving God. We serve a God of another chance. Don't let the devil sit on your shoulder and be whispering in your ear that you are not worthy to be praying this morning. Hallelujah. Child of God, once you would have given your life to Christ, you have a foot. <laughs> you have right. Hallelujah. You have title. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebecca Satayaraba. Don't let the devil beat you, beat you, beat you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and keep you from benefiting from the things of God. So just lift your hands in spite of and despite of and laugh and say, Devil, you thought you had me. Hallelujah, you know that, 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 that title bet song that I love so much. Ah, the devil thought he had me. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't. He just thought. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebeke Yarabo, Kosh Yarabo, Kosh Yarababa, Hararababa, Kayerebe, Beke Sete. There's some of you just feeling better in your spirit already. Hallelujah. There's just a lifting. Hallelujah. I just came this morning and, and I just sense there's so much depression around. Depression. Depression for one reason or the other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God is just lifting that as you open up your mouth and you begin to worship, as you begin to pray, as you begin to worship our mighty God. Hallelujah. It's just lifting. Hallelujah. It's just lifting. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Depression does not come from God. God does not. I mean, people say it all the time. I heard a, 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 a pastor say it up to, up, up to recently. You know that they, God is just giving you something to, 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 to toughen you, to test you. To, 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 no, God doesn't work like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, God is not going to give us stress, whether sickness or otherwise. They say, I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I just want to test you. I want to toughen you. No, 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 no. There are times when because there are things we would have done or would not have done that, you know, we open up the room to the enemy. And God, God allows it. Amen. That, that, that's the truth. But God does not go put it on you to say, I want you to be tougher. And I'm giving you this sickness because I want you to pray. No, it does not work like that. If you're sick, it has nothing to do with God. The Bible tells us that I pray that you will prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Amen. And I believe that that is the will of God for you and for me. That we will prosper and that we will be in good health even as our soul prospers. Amen. Hallelujah. Just lift your hand. Just take two more minutes and just say, God, I just magnify your holy name. There is none like you, Jehovah. None can compare to you. None can test you. Hallelujah. None can challenge you, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebebe ke satayaraba kayerebe. Say, I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to be depressed in the name of Jesus. In spite of all the circumstances around me, I am not going to be depressed. Hallelujah. Depression, hallelujah, gives the enemy something to boast about. Ah, look, 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 look at that one. Ah, call ourselves six sister, whatever, or pastor, whatever. And, and look how they're stressed out. Hallelujah. Bigging up themselves. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebecca, say, Lord, I refuse to be stressed. I'm giving the enemy no room in my life right now. I refuse to be stressed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Listen. Hallelujah. The times, you know, there are a lot of people around who get involved in all sorts of nasty things in, 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 the, in, the, in the dark places. You know, and what happens so sometimes that releases some demonic activity. Hallelujah. Some of them, they just send things your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want to say to you this morning, fear not. Fear not. Even if you sense that, 
even if you realize that there's something that is happening that, that, that doesn't look right, and you realize that this is just somebody doing some nastiness, Hallelujah. or you realize that you know the, the, the kingdom of darkness has released some things your way, fear not. I just want you to begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over your family, over your home, over your business, over your ministry, hallelujah, go ahead, just plead, just plead the blood of the, of the lamb, that's the blood of Jesus, at that, at that blood, demons have to back off, hallelujah, as you draw that bloodline around your home, hallelujah, as you draw that bloodline around your business, in the name of Jesus, say I plead the blood of Jesus over this environment, hallelujah, any demonic seed, any demonic agent. I command you out in the name of Jesus. I am covered by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead. I am covered by the blood of the Lamb. I am covered by the blood. I am covered by the blood. I am covered by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. Declare, your children are covered in the name of Jesus. Wherever they go, they carry the mark of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Declare, my children are out of bounds to the enemy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I cover them from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Something is shifting. Go ahead. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is shifting in that spirit realm. Hallelujah. I cover my children from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I surround them with that hedge of fire in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for your husband or your wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cover my husband. I cover my wife with the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. I surround him. I surround her. Oh God, with that hedge of fire in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are out of bounds to the enemy in the name of Jesus. I fear no demon. I fear no obia man. I fear no witch. In the name of Jesus, if you show up, you get it. If you show up, you get it. In the name of Jesus. That's the confidence in Almighty God that we have. Don't be wimping, running around. And uh, I, I, I've heard a story uh, of, 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 of a, 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 a witch that threatened a, a, a man of God and said, you, you're going to be dead. Hallelujah. And the man of God got so concerned. Eventually, he died. But I'm saying, you want to get to that point, you say that, listen, not based on the word of God, not based on the God that I serve. I refuse to whimper. I refuse to be backed up when I know that I serve the God that created this world, who spoke this earth into being. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebecca I serve a God who has told me that serpents, serpents uh, and scorpions I will trample upon in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rebecca, Satayana, Baba, Baka, Yerebebe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yedu, Yedu. I walk through that valley. Oh, Rebecca, Shana, Baba, of that shadow of death. I will fear no evil. No evil. Because his rod, his staff, they are with me. Hallelujah. Everywhere I go. Hallelujah. Declare, declare, declare. I shall fear no evil in the name of Jesus. I shall fear no evil in the name of Jesus. I shall fear no evil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, listen, as I was coming into the studio this morning, the Spirit of God just said to me that, listen, there's some of you, you you're watching this program this morning, and, and there's a number of things that you, you have challenges with. You, like you're hurting, you know. I, the last time I was here, I was telling you about 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And it spoke about all us being different parts of the body of Christ. And we have different functions by human standards. You know, we, we treat some parts more important than others. Amen. Because some things are more visible, like your hands and your eyes and so forth. And you don't realize that every organ in your body has some function 
or the other. Amen. And everything is working together. That's how we are in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And 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 first of all, the Spirit of God has just said to me that you know there's there's, there's a lot of offense moving around in the body of Christ that you know we need to we need to really really treat with. Amen. Because it is messing us up. Because we, we, we are seeing uh, the different parts and the different parts are not always working with that synergy that is always supposed to work with. So in, in other words, hallelujah, the musicians might be upset and, and offended by, by the, the worshippers. Hallelujah. Uh, or the worshippers might be upset with the musicians. And, and, and there's no synergy. You can't be synergy. I was at a conference last week and the man of God is saying, imagine you could be in a choir and members of that choir could not or uh, cannot pray for one another or they will not pray for one another because there's so much offense. So you're in an intercessory team praying for other people, but you can't pray for one another because there's so much offense. And the Spirit of God is saying, let me just throw this out this morning. Hallelujah. Love covers a multitude of sin. Even in that, in that 1 Corinthians chapter 12, let me see if I can pull it up very quickly. The last verse, you know, it tells us that we must well, the second to last verse tells us that we must pray earnestly for the manifestation of, of the gifts. You know, because it, 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 it earlier it listed out the gifts of uh, prophecy and, and, and healing and speaking in tongues and all of that. And then they say we must pray earnestly for the gifts that we, we want. But the last one, last verse tells us, And yet I show you a still more excellent way. This is an amplified version. One of the choices, graces, and the highest of them, unselfish love. Hallelujah. <laughs> and if it's telling us we must seek earnestly all of those things, we could also pray that God teach me to love. Teach me to have that unselfish love for my brother, for my sister. That despite of whatever it is that they might rub me the wrong way. Hallelujah. Something they might say that might get you a little upset. But you say, God, because... Uh, and, I, and this is what I do for myself personally. I tell you, I don't tell you things that I don't believe in. I'm not one of those people. Anything I tell you is because I have all confidence. I would have tested it. I would have done it. Amen? So I know. And for me, I, I, I can't tell you of anybody that could get me so upset right now. That I, that I can't pray for them if the time comes. I can't tell you of anybody. And I tell God all the time, search my heart. Don't let me just say this as a blanket thing on my lip. Hallelujah. There are people sometimes that do me some bad stuff. That, that they, 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 they say all sorts of stuff that might not, that sometimes is far from the truth. Amen. Some people distort stuff and they, they, they say all things. Hallelujah. Some people, hallelujah, have, have decided that, you know what, we're going to go all out for you. Hallelujah. We're going to go all out to make sure that we get you. And listen, <laughs> the love of God still is within me. Because I know I am not going to be walking around depressed and frustrated and, and, and carrying offense because look what you did me. Hallelujah. You're a terrible person. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to speak to you again. I don't even mention your name. No, 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 no. There is nobody like that in my book. And I keep saying, God, search me. If there's anybody that has managed to come up to that level, help me to just get past that. People ask me why I smile all the time. Why, they, why, why how come you always smiling? You always happy? Because I don't take stress about those things. Spirit of God is just saying, listen, the time you, you forgive, you've heard so much. Forgiving is such an important part of breakthrough. It's such an important part of you getting past some of the obstacles and the hurdles that you have in your life. Amen. Unforgiveness wears you down. It keeps you back. Oh, Rebbe KC, I don't have the time. This is just a prayer session. This is not a teaching session that I could pull out all of those scriptures about forgiveness. But I'm telling you, the Spirit of God just asked me to share with you this morning and to give you an opportunity. Say, so listen, all those things with the demonic oppression and sometimes even sickness. You know, a, a man of God was sharing uh, with us during that last conference, he was saying that scientists have shown that if two people meet and they, they, they have a good relationship, 
the cells in the body begin to react with one another. They jump up. And, you know, like, and he used the example of when Mary was pregnant and she went to Elizabeth and, you know, said the baby leaped and leapt in her womb. And, and that's how they... The cells in our bodies operate when you meet somebody that you love, that you have a good relationship with. The cells kind of do their thing. But if you meet somebody that you have offense with, there is negative energy. And what happens, you get this, it, it becomes a disease. This, they're not at ease. They, 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 they're not free to just bubble up and to just function. So they, they're not at ease. So we get this disease. Because there are this ease. That's what happens. Amen. So there are sickness and diseases that are a result of you just carrying that unforgiveness. There are stresses that you have because of unforgiveness. And I'm saying it's not worth it. That's how I look at it. It's not worth it. Why should I, why should I be stressing out over somebody who did me something yesterday? I, why? <laughs> why? And this is not to make you feel bad. This is just an encouragement to you. Amen? It's just an encouragement to you. Just lift your hands and just say, God, oh God, forgive me. I've been carrying this burden for too long. Yes, I know what the person did might have been terrible, bad. God, I've been carrying this thing for so long. Hallelujah. Help me, Jehovah. I lay it at your feet. I lay it at your altar. <laughs> I lay it at your altar, Almighty God. Oh, Rebe Kiara Woko Yerebe Kasata. Rebe Koyoroboko Salama Makase. I lay it at your feet, Jehovah. I lay it at your feet, Jehovah. Oh Lord, I forgive that individual. I forgive that individual. Oh, Rebeke Satayaraba. Rebeko Yoroboko Yerebe. Lord, I've carried this pain. After this day, I refuse to carry it. After this time, uh, you can write this time down. You can write this day down and declare <laughs> after today, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse to carry this burden in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, the people are before you this morning. Oh God, seeking your forgiveness. Lord, we know that you are God who hears and who answers, Almighty God. Help us all, oh God, to get past this burden of unforgiveness. That Lord, we won't carry people on our backs and our shoulders. But Lord, we will forgive. Because your word tells us that we must forgive. You told us that we must forgive so that you will forgive us. Hallelujah. So we forgive. We get past it. Oh, I feel some burdens lifting right now. I feel some burdens just lifting. Listen, you're going to feel so great today that like you've never felt before. I was telling somebody, in fact, I, I was supposed to just make that post on, on Facebook. They say, like, listen, don't let unforgiveness, don't let anybody, but based on what they said or based on what they did you, Cause you to be walking around stressed out or frustrated. Hallelujah. And most of all, don't let anybody, you hear me? Don't let anybody cause you to lose sleep. Amen. When I'm sleeping, I sleep. Because I said, I, I, no, nothing has stressed me out that I can't sleep. Amen. When I'm up, I'm up. So when I'm sleeping, let me sleep in peace. Amen. So, don't let anybody cause you to lose sleep. I just feel something great happened this morning. Amen. We have a few minutes left. I just want you to begin to speak to your day now. Speak that which you want to see today. Today shall be a great day. That's, that's you, you declare whatever you want to see. That which you loose on earth is loose in heaven. That which you bind on earth is bound in heaven. You have the keys to the kingdom. Amen. Now speak. God give you authority. He said, have dominion over everything. He said, the fish and the birds. And, the, and then he just said, you know what? Just have dominion over everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. So just speak. I will not die today. Hallelujah. I will not die today. Declare that in the name of Jesus. Declare, now listen, I want you to declare that which you want to see. Not just say amen. Amen. I will not get sick today. 
I will not be rushed to any emergency room today in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> As I go out, I'm covered with the blood. Am I going out is covered? My coming in is covered. Wherever I go, I carry the mark of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Accident shall not be my portion today. Whatever vehicle I get into is covered by the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we ask that the angels will escort whatever vehicles we get into. To the destination and back in the name of Jesus. Lord, we sanctify even our work environments with the blood of the Lamb, our offices, our desks, our computers, wherever we are, our workstations. We sanctify now with the blood of the Lamb. We declare you free of every uh, attack, every operation of the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. No one from the demonic realm will be able to tam tamper with us, tamper with our lives, tamper with our children. Tamper with our finances, tamper with our family, tamper with our businesses in the name of Jesus. Oh, speak, speak, speak. Take another sec, few seconds. Speak that what you want to see. There will be peace in my home today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those who owe me will pay today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Declare, declare, declare. It's your, your life. You're using the authority that you have. Speak. Hallelujah. Speak, 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 speak. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Don't lift your hands and just begin to thank God for that which he did today. God, we thank you. We thank you. We have all confidence in you, Almighty God, that you hear us. We thank you, Jehovah. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's the confidence we have in Jesus' name. Amen. Two things I want to tell you quickly. First of all, the TIN, we have this media training coming up on the 19th and 26th of August. The 19th and 26th, that's for all church workers. Um, we're going to be dealing with camera and Photoshop and video editing and still photography. If you want to have your, an audio that's sound, anybody in your church that is interested, that you know that they're usually uh, involved in those aspects of the church if they want to learn, um, just let them call us at 297-6602 and we will be able to to help you amen hallelujah now i just also want you to just begin to just pray for tin this morning just begin to say god tin will never fail we will never flop Amen. Money shall never be a problem. Go ahead and declare. Money shall never be a problem. Hallelujah. Resources shall never be a problem. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us. Oh God, as we embark on this journey to take the gospel worldwide, Lord, we pray that you open up opportunities, open up doors for us to reach other networks, to reach other places. In the name of Jesus, that we will take this gospel from right here in Tobago, beaming all across the world. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we, when we post stuff on Facebook, people from Bahrain, People from all across Africa, people from all across Asia, Indonesia, they like the post on Facebook. Hallelujah. And we thank God that we are reaching those places that even the first language is not even English. The native language is not English. But we are reaching them and we thank God. Hallelujah. And I told, told you, if you want to give, I know the Spirit of God would lead some of you to give. You can, you can either go on the website and there's a tab to give. Hallelujah. You can give using your credit card or PayPal account. Or if you're in Trinidad and Tobago, you can go to any FCB bank. The number is 203-4679. 203-4679. Bye for now. Remember, you are a champion and you are born to rule and reign in this life. Have a good day.